So I have been seeing a lot of videos that look like this one, and I don't want, I'm not going to pick on this particular YouTuber, I'm, I just chose this one because this is what popped up in my feed, but I've seen a lot of them like this, so this is just kind of an example, and I want to talk about this just for a little bit, and you probably are guessing exactly what I'm going to talk about, given the title of my video and the title of this one, but the number of YouTubers that have decided they're going to try Linux and have done so for a week is on the rise and part of this is because of other youtubers who have tried it for 30 days has all have also found that making videos saying i tried linux for x amount of time to be well very popular this one here got 216,000 views and the youtuber is fairly small they only have 6,000 subscribers so you can tell that this type of video is something that does really well for people who aren't necessarily that big into YouTube, and for those who have done YouTube for a long time, there's a reason why the Linus Tech Tips thing a couple years ago was so big. I mean, those things got millions of views. People are interested in non-Linux users trying out Linux, and that's especially true these days because Linux has increased in popularity because of the Steam Deck and because Windows continues to be god-awful, right? So, making videos about trying Linux for the first time have become very popular. Now, this is more of an open letter, if you will, to my fellow YouTubers. Now, I have wanted people to try Linux basically since I started using Linux. I've been trying, ever since I started this channel, one of my goals is to get more and more people to use Linux. And while I don't think that it's ever going to be the year of the Linux desktop or any of that nonsense, I do believe that Linux is getting more popular and that's a very good thing. I don't take any credit for that because I had no, I don't think I had any, you know, real play in that. But I do feel somewhat proud that as a Linux community, we've been able to draw in more and more people. And I think that that's great. So I don't want to poo-poo anyone who has tried Linux. But a week? That's all he, that's all he gave it was a week. Okay, so I understand that some, pe that, that some people don't have multiple computers. So trying it for more than a week, it would be a burden if it doesn't work out for you. I understand that. So in specific situations, if it really truly doesn't work for you and you gave it a good old college try in a week... I suppose that's okay. I mean, it has to be okay. It's not my place to tell you that it's not okay. But I would suggest that a week isn't long enough. So let me use a metaphor or a, an alternative situation to explain why this is the case. I like keyboards. If you follow me on social media, you know that I like keyboards. Or if you follow the podcast, you've probably heard me talk about keyboards a lot. I use... Uh, several different keyboards. I've bought weird keyboards, but I've also tried different keyboard layouts. And one of the things that I have a problem with is sticking to a different keyboard layout. I do the same thing with keyboard layouts that these people are doing with Linux. I don't give it enough time. I will switch to Dvorak or Colmec or whatever. I'll switch to it for a week, find that I haven't gotten any faster in that week, because of course I haven't. It's only been a week. And Go back to QWERTY because I'm fast at QWERTY. So it, that is a situation where it's going to take time. It takes time and effort. It's it, I've been preaching about this basically since I started this channel, probably even before. Linux isn't going to be good for you out of the box. Chances are. If you are a brand new Linux user and you have no clue what you're doing, you have no experience, you're probably going to have a pretty crap time because it's going to require you to put your learning cap on and actually put in effort to learn how Linux is doing things and how it works. Because, and repeat after me, Linux is not Windows. It's not. It's not close to Windows. Can it be made to look like Windows? Sure. That doesn't mean it is Windows. And I think that Linux, new Linux users sometimes come into Linux expecting it. And I've talked about this before again. And Matt still hasn't learned not to hit the microphone. I've talked about this before that they expect it to work similar to what they've used in the past. And those ex expectations lead them to trying Linux for a week because they, they have that expectation. And I don't know if this particular YouTube this this particular YouTuber had that situation or not, but in general, I think that because they have those expectations of them of Linux working like Windows, and when it doesn't, they almost immediately decide that they're going to give up. 
and that's just never going to work. You're not going to be able to experience the full breadth of what Linux entails in a single week. Probably not even a single month, but at least a month gives you the opportunity to try more than just Arch Linux or more than just Gen 2 or more than OpenSUSE or more than just Ubuntu. You can, if one of those, don't, your first try doesn't work, you can go find something else. You can also be able to discover what problems there actually are because, yeah, you're going to experience some problems there right up front, but as you use it longer and longer, those problems will become more clear in your mind and you'll be able to spend more time on them to fix them and you'll hopefully at least begin to understand that you can probably fix them at least in most cases in a week chances are all you've done is found some of the problems you haven't taken the effort to actually go through and find those solutions to the problems that you've had because that's just not enough time and that's really the whole point of this video is that a week isn't enough time now if you've tried linux before or maybe you just you know you're just checking in on Linux or something like that. I suppose a week can can work for you and in specific situations, whatever. But Linux YouTubers, you you need to do better because what a week of effort actually makes it look like is that you did this only for the ability to make a video about it, and then you wanted to just move back. You didn't put actual effort into making it. Now, coming from the chief of low effort videos. Hi, I'm Matt. I don't blame you because one of the things that YouTube does well is want, it wants you to make videos that are going to actually, you know, be viewed by people. And it promotes and encourages that, you know, by default. It's like its chief purpose is for creators to create videos that are popular. So, Doing what YouTube wants you to do in making a video that is going to be popular is not something that I can say, you know, bad, per you know, you're a bad person about, you know, it's just, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. I, under I understand. I have many times on this channel use a provocative title. I'm not going to use the word clickbait because I don't believe in, well, I, I do believe in clickbait, but I don't believe I use blatant clickbait because my titles at least have something to do with it. That's beside here, whatever. <laughs> the point is, is that, you know, as a YouTuber, you do have, you know, a good reason to do something like creating a video that you know is probably going to get some views. And that's okay. But people who look at your videos who know better are going to be able to say hey you know you used linux but you didn't use it for very long and how much effort did you really put into it because you only used it for that amount of time now if in your video you explain why you only were able to use it that long that's fine maybe you hit a hardware limitation and you just don't have any other hardware or whatever the case may be there are legitimate reasons to not be able to use linux right out of the box maybe you tried it for just a couple hours your mouse didn't work the network didn't work whatever it happens right hardware incompatibility on linux is still something that is fairly widespread in certain situations, right? That's absolutely the truth. And if you you hit that wall, chances are you're, you're hightailing it right back to whatever was working. That I understand. But if you used it for a week, chances are things were working, at least the, you know, the necessary things were working. So you made it a week, maybe a little bit more effort, put it towards two weeks and it would make your, you know, a, a month or whatever, it would make your effort seem more like it exists like like, like it, it would make you feel like you put effort into it instead of just making a video that you knew was going to be popular so this is a little bit of a rant and again i don't want to pick on just this one youtuber absolutely not so don't go find his youtube video and 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 say that oh you know random Linux YouTuber got mad at you, not mad at this person. There's 12 different, there, there, there's another one that was linked right next door to this that did the exact same thing, right? They just used it for a week. There's, there's, these things are a dime a dozen because this type of video has become very popular. And that's the reason why you're seeing, I used Linux for X amount of time videos all over the place. And I love that. I think it's great because the more attention Linux gets, it's, you know, is the bet is better it's better for linux it brings more people it gets more people to try linux hopefully it gets them to try it for more than a week 
but it you know it brings Linux more to the forefront and makes it more popular. That's great. So I don't want to become the guy who complains too much about a good thing, but a little bit of complaining is always what I'm gonna do because that's a you know that's you know my gig. <laughs> That's what I do. I complain about things. If you do, if you didn't know that, you've never watched a video of mine before, because that's what I do. Anyways, that's it for this one. I really, truly hope you enjoyed it. If you have thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast or on Kofi or YouTube. Those links will be in the video description. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for your support. Just went over 55,000 subscribers. So thanks everyone for watching. I truly do appreciate it. I also went over 10 million views over the, the weekend. Like, that's just bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. I mean, like, that shit insane. Like, that's just nuts. So thanks everyone for 10 million views. Here's to the next 10 million, because uh, hopefully, I mean, that'd be cool if they came. And I'm not expecting that either. So uh, thanks so very much. Uh, you can support me by going head over to the shop, shop.thelinkscast.org. Awesome merch. Check that stuff out. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.